What's going on everyone? It's Howland here and welcome to another uniform review video. Alright, so we're going to be going over the next uniform on the list here, which is going to be uh, Hyperion's uniform. So here we have Hyperion's classic uniform that has that kind of comic cell shaded kind of uh, design artwork to it, which I do like these uh, uniforms. I think they look cool, so I do not mind this at all. And this time, yes, it does come with uniform bonuses and skill changes, so that is fantastic. So let's go ahead and take a look at those. The uniform bonus is going to be increased crit rate by 15%, which is nice. And then enhance the effects of the skill Solar Power, which is going to be his four-star passive. And enhances... I don't know if I'd use that word there. It doesn't really change very much at all. So it changes his 4% HP heal to a 8% HP heal, which, yes, that is double, but... It is still on a 15 second cooldown, so I don't know. I probably would have preferred the cooldown to be shorter, especially since he does get other stuff with the solar power, uh, which is immunity to snare, which he probably should just have that all the time instead of having immunity to snare for two seconds when hit on a 15 second cooldown. Yeah, not too good. And then he's got a guard hit, guard against like one hit for two seconds on a 15 second cooldown. So they could have buffed any of those others, or especially the guard hit, or even that cooldown, like that 15 second cooldown, that should be a little bit shorter. So I'm not too impressed with the uh, enhancements to his solar power passive right there. Uh, but anyway, now we're moving on to the skill changes here. So this is going to be exactly the same. He still has the remove debuff three seconds and 20% max HP recovery with his base kit. So that doesn't change. So it's just going to be a skill animation change. And then the solar flare here, um, it adds the stun. So he didn't have the stun before, so that's nice. So he does get a stun on that skill, which is good. Uh, so now let's go ahead and jump into the skill preview and see what these new skill changes actually look like. <clears throat> All right, so the fourth and the <clears throat> oh, excuse me there the fourth and the third skill are going to be the ones that have the skill changes. So let's go ahead and take a look at those. So the third skill here, boom, lots of hits, and then this is the change right here. Is he now kind of? Uh, has, I don't know, like a targeting feature right there where he's lost in space and then just kind of flies down and brings, uh, what are those supposed to be? Are those meteors or just kind of like energy cuts? Oh, battery is getting low. I'll have to take care of that. Um, looks like those are just kind of like things of energy that almost look like fists or something like, like that coming down to like punch the enemies down into the ground even more. Yeah. So, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, I like the change, except, you know, it just makes the skill animation a lot longer. So definitely a very long skill in terms of the duration of the skill. And then the fourth skill. Um, it looks like now the fourth skill is a full iframe, which I really like that change. It does look like it's a full iframe. I don't really see that um, the X for the uh, iframe kind of indicator going away and coming back like it used to. And it still is on his base kit. So his base kit is still exactly the same for his fourth skill. It still is an intermittent iframe as he kind of flies around. Uh, so I do like this change here. And then, of course, we have more hits, all of those kind of extra flybys right there. So a lot more hits on the skill as well. So two very nice skill changes. So I do like the changes with this classic uniform here. So overall, um, yes, I do think this uniform makes him better. And yes, I do think the two skill changes are really nice. They will increase the damage. Um, but the thing with the third skill is I don't like how long it is. I think you can, yeah, you can cancel it out. But then, of course, you don't get the extra hits. Um, so maybe the third skill, I don't like the change as much. Because, yeah, you still get, okay. So, yeah, it's just this right here. Um, I mean, if you kind of want to stay out of harm's way for a while, if you find that you're in trouble, you want to wait for uh, some of your other skills to come off of cooldown, then yes, that is a good way to stall out the clock. Um, but anyway, those are the skill changes with the uniform. And as we know, Hyperion did have a full rework, so his base kit as well. So we do have all of the other skills having different animations as well. So we could go ahead and take a look at those real fast. So the first skill right here, which is going to be the same as with his base kit. So the first, second, and fifth skill, they're all going to look exactly the same here as they would without the uniform. Um, so now he has kind of an added iframe right there after like the first hit, and then it does more damage and more hits as well. So yes, nice change. All right. I can, uh, I can be happy with that. 
Uh, the second skill, however, is now a full iframe, and boom, we get like a vortex right there, so we get a lot more hits off of it. So, yeah, the second skill rework, that one is really nice. I do like that skill a lot. But then we hop into the uh, fifth skill here. So let's just tap this skill for the first time. You can hold the skill down, but let's tap it. And boom. Still does that same kind of kick on the ground. Oh, that seems faster then. Well, anyway, the skill animation is pretty slow, but <clears throat> for some reason doing it right now, the animation seems faster than when I first had tried him out in skill preview. That's really weird. Uh, but anyway, as you can see here, yeah, so it's a little bit slower in the skill animation. Still have the stun. We have a much bigger AoE or radius on the heat vision now, and it looks like it's going to do uh, a lot more hits. Not to mention that with the rework, he has a lot more stuff on the fifth skill, like an all attack boost, um, the damage accumulation, uh, which is going to be the same as Sharon Rogers. He gets like a 225, 250% damage boost uh, for accumulation. So you do have to get hit a little bit there. Uh, but... Uh, yeah, overall, nice change right there, and then if you hold it down, boom, as you can see, and he's charging, 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 you can hold it down for like 7 seconds or something ridiculous like that, like he's still going, I'll just let it go the entire time, and boom, as you can see there, it does seem to increase the radius, I'm not sure if it increases the amount of hits, but increases probably the potency of the skill, yeah, so overall, I really like the reworked Hyperion, the uniform I think is good and since it is a cheaper uniform for 750 crystals if I remember right I do think it is worth it you know what I'll back out right here because I am going to be purchasing this uniform because I do like uh, the uniform the skill changes are good enough and of course just getting the uniform bonus for all attack all defense uh, for 750 crystals on a Hyperion on top of his rework uh, yeah I think that's good enough to make me want to buy it so there we go i bought the classic uniform but that's just my thoughts on hyperion here let me know uh what you guys think of the uniform and also hyperion's rework i'm kind of curious to see how you guys are uh liking the changes to hyperion but that's going to be it for this video here i hope you guys enjoyed and of course i will catch you in the next one